The bankruptcy settlement of Purdue Pharmaceuticals hangs in the balance of the Supreme Court. Our Alexis Keenan is here with the details. Obviously, this has been closely, closely watched. Yes, and a long time going and things still not settled in this case. Now, what is happening here is the U.S. trustee, which operates as a watchdog for the Justice Department over Chapter 11 cases, these big cases, and in this case, a $6 billion uh, settlement wrapped up in the bankruptcy between Purdue and victims of opioid litigation, also states and local governments that are part of this settlement. So a big $6 billion at stake here because the U.S. trustee, they say that who shouldn't be part of this settlement? Who shouldn't get a release from liability? The Sackler family, the family that owned and controlled Purdue all the way up until it agreed to release its ownership and release control within this bankruptcy. So the U.S. trustee, not necessarily a party here, but in its watchdog capacity saying, this is not the way that things should go, that the bankruptcy court should not have the power to release a party when there are still some claimants in this opioid litigation that want to be able to bring individual suits against the Sacklers. They argue that the Sacklers took a bunch of money from the company, transferred it into offshore accounts to the tune of, according to the justices in the conversations today in court, $11 billion, oh, wow. some of that being repatriate, repatriated in order to fund this $6 billion settlement, not all of it. Uh, but that's what the, uh, the arguments were today. You had uh, government lawyers up there. You also had uh, the Purdue lawyers arguing that this agreement should go through. And then you had a lawyer for the claimants here. By the way, they want this settlement. They want this $6 billion to be the end. They want to get a distribution. They want to be paid for the injuries they say that they have um, been caused by this drug. And, and Alexis, you were kind of talking here before we got started about sort of maybe the impact, the influence this could have kind of broadly on bankruptcy law. Yeah. So the deal in bankruptcy in Chapter 11 is that it's a bargain. In order to get the bargain and the benefit of being released from future liabilities, because that's what's tied to this $6 billion payment, is that forever and a day, the Sacklers, Purdue, were, will no longer be beholden to this litigation. They will be able to walk away from it. In exchange for that, you have to put all your money on the table. You have to put your money into the bankruptcy estate. And so the U.S. trustee here is saying, Sacklers, you didn't do that. That was company money. It went offshore, and now we're having to deal with it in this backwards way. So the U.S. trustee not really liking that, and it's a really interesting uh, concept for bankruptcy going forward because this could ultimately change how bankruptcy courts are able to handle these, uh, th these distributions of funds, particularly in this mass tort area where you have so many claimants who want a piece of the pie.